So this is what it looks like when the tide goes out under the surface of the Nordisvonnet. You can see it's a, it's a bit of an ice sheet this morning. See, like there was a higher over the rope earlier and on the barriers there to the ocean. It makes a weird sound lodged in the ice. I mean, I guess it's fairly shallow here. You know, I mean, there's a boat over there in the water, right? But I'm really quite surprised at uh, how frozen it has. Oh, look at this. Look at the waves I can make underneath it with the... Uh, so this is a floating dock right here that I'm on. Cracks in the ice. That's cool. Kind of messing with the pretty a little bit. Makes a weird noise. It's not really too slippery on my feet, but... It's strange. I thought today might be a pretty day to take out the kayak in... You know, the sunshine that we have here as we approach noon. But, uh, the sun and the clear sky also means that it is cold out here. Because there's no clouds to hold the, uh, the heat in, so it just escaped last night. I'm not sure how cold it got, but obviously colder than it has been. Now you can see it's pretty shallow here. On our on our little beach now the uh, the first step here is underwater at high tide so it obviously wasn't high tide when it was the coldest and you can see our little creek over here that we've got oh man today would be a good day for a hike because this is usually just squishy mush what have the children done oh they've been turning the dirt I guess this is gonna be their garden Plant some potatoes. This is our little, you know, there's a more exciting waterfall there. It's our little creek. As you can see, the creek water coming out is obviously not as uh, cold as the water out there. So we've got a, a break area in the ice. You can kind of see the edge there. Which is interesting because you'd think that the, uh, oh, look, there's a house. You'd think that the, the fresh water coming out here into the, uh, maybe more brackish than I thought. I haven't tested the salinity. I kind of thought it was this, because, I mean, it, it exchanges water with the North Sea. But because it's such a small inlet, the salinity must be lower than I thought if it can freeze like this. But it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. Look, there's the snowy mountains. You can't quite see Ulrich in there to the left, but you can definitely see some of the uh, the lower hills with the snow on them there in the distance. It's pretty stuff to look at, huh?